We've been talking with Randy Jeldon, president of Sterling Technologies, about colostrum. Randy, one of the questions uh, about uh, colostrum that often comes up is, well, what are the benefits of taking it, especially mm -hmm. for adults? Sure, Tom. The benefits of colostrum for adults, Tom, are, are uh, witnessed by about every age group. Uh, components in colostrum would include antibodies, which are a direct um, attack on bacteria and viruses that might enter the body. Um, colostrum contains lactoferrin, which does many immune modulating things. It contains uh, smaller proteins, uh, peptides, and cytokines that activate the immune system. And um, at the same time, if the immune system is overactive, it can actually reduce the immune system in, a, in an effect. So um, people take colostrum daily just to bolster their immune system. Um, most of the time, people tell me that um, if, I used, if they used to have you know, three or four colds or flus a year, um, by taking colostrum daily, they don't have um, any. Or if they do, they're not nearly as severe. What about the concern that we sometimes hear about uh, with bovine BSE? Uh, does that, is that something that we need to worry about with colostrum? It's an issue that we always want to be aware of. Um, we're not very concerned about it with colostrum for a couple of reasons. Um, when BSE was discovered in the U UK, um, it was found by their scientists that it was never transferred through the milk. In other words, mother never passed it through to the baby through milk or any other any other part. It was only transferable through feeding improper feeds. Um, of course, in Europe, um, they don't have the luxury of acres and acres of, of corn and good feeds that we do have here, so they were, they were kind of forced to use other protein sources, and that's where they got in trouble. In the U.S., of course, we do have the corn, oats, alfalfa that these cows get, and uh, there was really a, no need to feed those types of products. So for, for those reasons, we don't feel there's a problem. Also, our government checks any cow, any herd that, that is a suspect, and to this point, we have not found a cow that was born in the United States to have the, the BSE. Thank you very much, Randy.